Hello everyone, my name is Jason from Sage, otherwise known as Shadow Dreamer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Barony on the Epic Game Store version. Now, as you can see here, there's really nothing that indicates, oh, hey, you can find mods. So, custom content is actually where you're going to find the ability to do mods. Now, I already have some loaded and made, but I'm going to show you today how to install them anyway. So, for reference, there's this little thing up here that says current loaded mods hover for info. If you read it, it says current load list first is lowest priority. You need to take that to heart because load priority matters above anything else in doing barony mods. So as you can see here, I have RuneScape mods installed, multiplayer tweaks installed, and more rooms installed. The reason I have them in this order is because first is lowest priority. It's music. It's not really necessary, so that one gets loaded first. Multiplayer tweaks is a little bit more important because it's a multiplayer tweak. So that means you and everyone else is going to benefit from it, so it needs to be loaded a little bit more high priority than a music mod. And then we have more rooms. More rooms changes the map completely, so that has to be loaded first and foremost. Not first as in first, but first as in the highest priority. So that's the reason why we load these in this order. Now, you wouldn't think when you load them that you're able to change it in any specific way. You actually have to manually click load item, and then you'll see it just pops in there. So, for right now, what you need to do is go to the following link in the description, and it's going to bring you this page. Steam Workshop Downloader. Now, the way this works is you go to the Steam Workshop you don't have to own the game, but you go to the Steam Workshop for Barony, and you will find a URL at the very top. What you can also do is I already have a collection set up with all the mods I am using in my game, Shadowed Universal Barony Collection, as you can see right there, and that has all of the mods I'm using listed. So if you're playing on the Steam version, you can just go ahead and subscribe to all of them, good, you're good to go. If you're on Epic Game Store, you're going to need to click on them, load up the page, and then you will find on the very top up here, if you're using it through a web browser, you'll see a URL, URL, and then otherwise, you right click, copy, page URL, minimize that, come back to here, paste the link, and it will pop up right here. You'll see Minecraft Villager Shopkeeper, everything else about it. You can ignore the support level stuff. For right now, medium is about where most mods are. If this is not popping up for you, you need to make sure no extraction is click marked on. You don't want direct URL on, and you don't want hide from history on, because hide from history, well, hide the download from the latest download list. That's kind of null. It doesn't matter. And the direct URL is only going to bring up the web page into a actual website, so you don't want that either. Once you get all this done, you want to click on download. You want to make sure you have something like WinRAR installed already, because this is going to download as a zip file, as you see right here. It's a zip. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to cancel that download. And you want to do this for each individual mod that you want to download. So you can pause the video right now, go ahead and download all the mods you want, and then when you come back, I'll show you the next step. Alright, I'm going to assume you have all the mods downloaded now. Once you have them all set up in whatever spot you've downloaded them to, you want to next find your barony folder inside of your computer. Mine is located in this PC, a second storage unit that I have set to the F drive, program files, 86 bit, barony, and then you should have a mods folder. Inside that mods folder it will be completely blank, you will not see any of this. Mine is like this because I already have them downloaded. And you will need to manually right click, new, folder, 
and then whatever mod you're making you need to name it appropriately so you know what you're downloading and placing into it. I named it literally the same mod as what's getting installed, that way I know what's what. So I was referencing Villa Minecraft Villager Shopkeeper. So you will open up that file, you will not see anything inside of it again. You will need to drag that zip file into the folder that you're going to download it into. And then you are going to, if you have WinRAR, right click, extract here and everything will download and extract or upload and extract right to that folder. So, once you have done that for each individual mod, congratulations you're only like two steps away from doing what you want to do. So, if this doesn't work for you, you're going to need to come back to this folder so either Go back to Barony, right click on mods, and pin to quick access, or just go ahead and minimize the whole thing completely. But then, you want to come into Barony, you want to go to custom content, local mods, and then you should see all of the folder names that you've done right now. So once again, you need to do these in order. Now unfortunately there's nothing specific that says this is the order you need to do them in. You just need to use your head a little bit and say, okay, which one should be the most important? Mainly anything that changes the environment around you is going to be the most important. So like I said, more rooms changes the levels completely and everything else. So that is going to be my most important mod right now. RuneScape music, not that important. Villager shopkeepers, it just changes how they sound, how they look does not change their inventory at all or anything like that so still not that important because it's just a graphical kind of change multiplayer tweaks next important because it changes everything for every single player that's playing with you and then finally more rooms is going to be the top tier highest priority mod that you will need so we go up here you'll see current loaded mods hover for info again that's going to pop up when you start loading in mods and it's going to list in order what mods you have installed with the first being the lowest priority. So we see here, RuneScape Music, Villager Shopkeepers, Multiplayer Tweaks, and then more rooms. Now, once you have this all loaded, the only way to play a modded game is to click on this button that says Start Modded Game. Now, to make sure your mods are working properly, click on Start Modded Game, wait for everything to load up. It's gonna take some time because it's gotta load all those files and then once it loads up you're going to want to just build a random character it doesn't matter if you want to play single player then go ahead as you can see I already have some things set up but I'm not going to use my single player because I loaded up a new mod on it so that's going to corrupt the file if I start playing it like that start new game previous character single player continue congratulations this is what Barony More Rooms mod looks like. I'm not mortal though. But that's besides the point. So, you'll notice some new stuff. There's also new stuff inside of here for the More Rooms mod. I'll just show you real quick so you know that it's exactly what it's intended. You'll see this over here, gate there, gates here, your mine is still over here. This isn't the showcase bot for the more rooms mod, so I'm not going to go into detail about it. I will go over here into this new area, though, however, to show you guys what's going on. So you pop in. It should not look like the whole game is corrupt. Everything should be working perfectly fine. You've got no problems whatsoever. Other than basically you know figuring out if later on when you go find a shopkeeper if your villager shopkeepers is actually working you'll know right away if it's not okay no big deal so you don't have a villager shopkeeper you know not the end of the world the uh, next biggest issue would be trying it in multiplayer and making sure everyone is not glitched out when people get glitched out, for me, 
they start zipping around the map like they're severely lagging and they're not able to enter this area that we're now in right now. The reason for that is something didn't download properly or they're not following the load order. Everyone has to have the same load order no matter what. If the load order does not get followed it will corrupt the game you won't be able to join up on each other and it's just gonna look really 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 bad so with that being said that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything else if you go to the barony discord there is a section of the discord called workshop and if you go to the workshop section, they are able to help you out and also talk about the downloads and everything there as well. So once again, my name is Shadow Dreamer, also known as Jason from Sage. I stream on Twitch. This is my YouTube channel. If you guys want and would kindly give me a follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I would greatly appreciate it because I'm just starting out, really. So, I'll see you guys around. Look forward to some more videos, hopefully. Thank you very much.